Hey everybody, Trident to Live here playing Kerbal Space Program. Here's a quick tip for you. You may have seen before where uh, people have stuck multiple uh, smaller engines on the bottom of a larger tank and maybe you've seen a tutorial on it before but I thought I'd take my own take on it. Uh, so let's go ahead and look quickly how to do this. So we have our fuel tank right here. We're going to go over to the structural, grab our smallest struts and we're going to put them all the way out to the outside. Whoops. Eight symmetry. We want eight engines, not one engine. So we'll put them on the outside here. We'll go grab our uh, vectoring engines, put them right here. Now you want to not put them uh, on the bottom, but rather put them all the way up to the orange tank, and that works much better. And we can even put another one in the middle, so that that's uh, what is that nine? Is that good math? I can do math. That's nine right there. Um, and all those will fire and drain from this tank right here. You can use less. You can use two. You can decide not to put one in the middle. You can use six. You can use uh, any combination that the game will allow you. Um, right now this is actually a hack basically um, but in the future the game developers have talked about um, and it is my understanding that this will become a feature that you'll be able to do multiple engines. Now one thing to keep in mind is this uh, may not be the optimal configuration depending on what you're doing. More engines causes more weight. You do get more lift, but you're also going to get more drag. So it's going to be important to uh, measure and weigh your pros and cons to everything. Hope this was helpful. I'll see you guys next time.